Sorry, guys. Just got this in the mail from another Ukrainian lock sporter. He lives in the Ukraine. It is a Russian lock, though. At least that's what he tells me. I really can't tell. There's no marking on this thing anywhere except in the bottom. You can just barely make out, I don't know, proof marks or numbers down here. Um, you can see that the body is aluminum. Easy to tell here on the bottom, maybe not so much from the side. Uh, it also looks like a replaceable core, and I thought it was based on the pictures. But when you look at the core, it's not the dimensions are not quite right. The core is a little bit oversized, and that kind of not really centered if you look at it closely. Um, this is held in with a pin right here. So they put the core in, and then they pin it permanently. So we're not going to be able to take it apart. Got a drain hole at the water out, so pretty heavy lock. Steel shackle, not aluminum. So um, the key, it looks almost as if the key was hand filed. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's really difficult to tell. Um, it does work. Now watch this. It has a very strong spring on the core just to get it to turn. And watch how the shackle really launches out there. I mean, just amazing. If you look down in here, my first thought was to be to try to shim it, but you can see that's a mechanical block, and it's just basically a cam put onto the back of this lock cylinder that turns. So that's a really good system, very simple, reliable, and it also is non-shimmable. Now, I probably need someone to help me compress this thing. It's really... Let me get that. Well, make sure... There we go. Now we'll lock it back up. I mean, a super strong spring in there. Now, here's the thing. When that uh, spring, which is on this side, and again, there's another pin over there somewhere. Here we go. There's the pin to hold the spring in. I mean, that spring is probably like that long, really compressed in there. When it's pushing on the shackle, the shackle, that little notch, is pulling on the actuator, which is pulling on the core, which makes it really hard to turn, both with the key and when we tension it. But like a lot of lever locks, we can remove the load from the shackle simply by compressing it. So if I push it down, then it frees up that a little bit. There's still some dragon in there. It's not the finest of machine work, but now it takes that load off of the back. It makes it easier to feel the pins and maybe get it to turn for us. So let's see what we got. We'll try it. Um, it's a pretty wide open keyway, so I should be able to just take this dude and oops, maybe not. And yeah, that darn warding makes him roll over. Let's try the next one. Same thing. Darn it. Okay, well, we're going to have to use top of the keyway. I guess we could use them in the bottom, but that's a little bit awkward. Let's try it right, right there. Yeah. What I'm going to do, again, this is not ideal. I'm going to put my finger over it, and I'm going to push down on, on that shackle. Try to make it a little easier on myself. Let me find a decent pick, because it takes quite a bit of energy to hold that. All right, here we go. I'm going to use this guy. There's plenty of room. I'm going to use a 25,000. That's from Sparrows. Push down to remove that load. Apply a little tension with my thumb. And try to point a little bit towards the camera. See if we get any kind of feedback. All right. So get out of the way, Mr. Red Band. All right. A little tension. And see if we got binders. There it is. Pin 2 is binding. Whoa, nice. All right, let's keep looking. Pin three. Man, that's a strong spring. <laughs> I'm going to get, get one of the kids out here to sit on it. Okay, there's pin four. Felt a little turn there, and that's a good thing. And there we go, pin five, and we have an open. Get ready for that spectacular launch. Not bad. I mean, as long as you realize you can unload the shackle, and I guess a lot of locks are like that. I never really thought about talking about that before. But if you know if it's a direct mechanical mechanism to secure it, a lot of the Bulgarian locks have that, um, in addition, obviously, to the Russian locks. It's a simple, reliable mechanism, but if you push down and compress that spring, remove the tension on the lock, it makes it much easier to get a feel for those pins and also for your tensioning to get the feedback. Anyway, guys, there you go. An unknown branded Russian lock straight out of the Ukraine. Appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.